Alexander Paul Sperry developing tweets from him. Developing. Former Comey FBI attorney Kevin Kleinsmith must cooperate with Durham's investigators in the terms of his plea agreement between now and his sentencing on December 10 in order to get a two-level reduction in his punishment for falsifying evidence to frame a Trump advisor. What do you make of this tweet from Paul Sperry and the uh, fact that Kevin Kleinsmith has pleaded guilty and it looks like he will be working with Durham, Alexander? Yes, he's pleaded guilty and I hope he, and I, I'm not surprised by this move. And I will say why, because of course the Justice Department accepted his plea of guilty, but it was an incredibly qualified plea of guilty. Klein Smith came along, said that, you know, I did alter the email, I did all these things, but I didn't mean to deceive. I accept I did deceive, and that's a guilty plea, but, you know, I had absolutely good intentions. Now, that is an extraordinary and very bizarre plea, and there's been some discussion within the legal community about why the Justice Department agreed to run with it. The assumption that is now spreading and this tweet seems to confirm it is that there's more negotiations being done and the justice department is saying to him you must cooperate with us and we will accept your plea if you do but if you don't we will really come after you when it comes to sentencing so that does seem to confirm what this tweet says and um, I suspect that he will cooperate fully with the Justice Department. It is in his interests to do so. A reply to that tweet actually says this from Milo Jack. This is a reply to the tweet. I think it's a really interesting to reply. It says, don't get too excited. The level of cooperation required for the reduction is typically pretty minimal. And given how, li given how little he is facing without the reduction, tells you they aren't leaning on him too hard. If they needed a hammer, he would have pled to more. Interesting. Do you think they're leaning? They're not leaning on him too hard? I think they're not leaning to him on to him too hard because I think some kind of agreement has already been reached and this is a developing situation. So I, I don't think they're letting him go. I mean, I'll be surprised if they do. And I'm pretty sure that he will, in fact, provide in a lot of information to the Justice Department. Can I just explain to our viewers that uh, Klein Smith's actual um, fake, the, the, this, this email that he changed was in support of the very last application for a FISA warrant against Carter Page. There had been a whole succession of other FISA warrants up to then, um, based on false information. A FBI official began to become concerned, asked Klein Smith to find out from the CIA whether or not um, um, Carter Page had been a CIA source. The CIA said he was. Klein Smith then changed the email to make it look like it was consistent with what the FBI had said in the previous three FISA applications. So they got the fourth FISA application on the basis of this altered email that, you know, Kleinsmith altered. And then there were the three previous ones that they got before, which this altered email seemed to seem to suggest that this is all consistent with it. So what I think Durham is interested in is not so much the fourth the fourth Pfizer application, but the previous three, the ones that actually happened before the CIA email was changed. And that's where I think the real answers and questions are going to come, because it turns out that Klein Smith was heavily involved in preparing all the work in relation to those three previous applications. But Klein Smith is FBI. Uh, Klein Smith is okay. FBI. Okay, so Klein Smith if he's FBI, so he was he was the FBI lawyer who was on the legal team that prepared the Pfizer applications, all four of them. He was involved with the first three, as I said, someone we don't yet know exactly who, but it wasn't Comey or it doesn't seem to be one of the bad people. Somebody in the FBI began to become concerned, asked him when the fourth application 
was being made, the last one, when Robert Mueller, by the way, had taken over the investigation, he asked him, are you sure this guy is not CIA? Because Carter Page was telling everybody by this point that he was CIA. So somebody came along to Klein Smith and said, are you sure he's not CIA? Check with the CIA. Klein Smith checked with the CIA. They came back. They said he is CIA. He is a source. Klein Smith, who done worked on all the previous three applications, which said that he is not CIA, then changed the email for the fourth application to say that the CIA is saying that he's not CIA. That's the story. That's what happened. So. I think, as I said, Durham is less interested in this fourth application. This is the very last one where the, the altered email was provided. More interested with the earlier three applications for FISA warrants because they were the ones that involved surveillance of Donald Trump's campaign and transition team and the early weeks of his administration. So that's a more serious question than the actual, uh, when the situation for the fourth application, which was in June 2017, when the surveillance itself was beginning to run down. So I think Durham is more interested in the period when the surveillance was at its peak. And that's why I think he's done a deal with, with Klein Smith because Klein Smith is in a position to give him information about those three previous applications. I hope that's clear, and I hope I've explained it. I know this is all complicated with uh, um, the way Justice Department works and cuts deals, but I am reasonably confident that that is what is happening. Yeah, but if they've cut a deal for for a plea, then I would assume that it means as an FBI guy, Klein Smith is willing to give up his superiors, to give up information as to what happened. But essentially, that means giving up people. Yes, and that's what Durham Absolutely. is after. Durham is after making some arrests. That's his yes. job. He's, that's he's, exactly that's exactly his job. Yeah, that he's, exactly he's there to get to the job. truth, but his job is to make some yeah. get, get some yeah. indictments, make some arrests. Yeah. So yeah. his superiors would would give me three names, and then one guy from the Justice Department who's not his direct superior, but okay, he was in on it. The three names I have would be Strzok, McCabe, Rosenstein, Comey. Yes. Rosenstein being in the DOJ, who, but because we know he signed on the, he signed the, uh, the yeah. Absolutely, that's, yeah. that is that is exactly right. By the way, Rosenstein signed the last. I believe he was the signatory to the last uh, uh, of the Pfizer's, but uh, McCabe and Strzok were absolutely instrumental in all the others. So, um, you know, it's, 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 it's those others that Durham is focusing on, I am sure. And it's those. And by the way, the single most important of the three is the first one, because that's when the whole surveillance operation really gets under stream. Now, Klein Smith was involved in that one, too. Strzok undoubtedly was involved in it. McCabe was definitely involved in it. Comey was definitely involved in it. I'm sure Lisa Page was too. So those are those are the people who I think are going to be the focus is going to be on them. Yeah, Comey's been awful quiet, as has yeah. McCabe and yes. Strzok. Indeed, in and, the last and, few months. Absolutely, and Sally Yates, by the way, signed off on at least one of them. Yeah, but Sally Yates already threw Comey under the bus. Absolutely, absolutely. But you know, she 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 signed on signed off on one. So who knows? Maybe she was more involved. But it's, I I think it's those those are the four people at the core of this thing: Comey, McCabe, Strzok, Page, Lisa Page. All right. Okay. Alexander Mercurius, thank you very much, guys. Click on that subscribe button, that red subscribe button. When you subscribe to our channel, you'll be notified every time we publish a new video or go with a live stream. Also, please donate to us on PayPal, Patreon, and subscribe. Star, your donation helps out this small channel. And go to the Durant shop, pick up some merchandise, magic mugs, t-shirts, all kinds of good things. Very, very quickly, Alexander. Which mug do you have right now? I have the I have the mug of the United States. This right. is this is actually it's become my default one. I mean, I've got there's Britain. I've also got Britain somewhere, I think, um, and I've got Australia here immediately to hand. You can see Australia is there, 
and uh, is that Armenia? I think that's Armenia. Armenia, Armenia. and I've also got I've also got Serbia here. Serbia, indeed, one Serbia, and by the way, uh, uh, Manamal mugs. That's England, and since I'm, you know, got family and connections with Germany. I've also got Germany too, which is a country which is, you know, lots going on in Germany at the moment and some interesting and good things in Germany too. So you can see that I've got all of these mugs and all these countries and I've got Britain somewhere upstairs. Um, please come to our shop and have these magic mugs. You'll find all these flags of all these various countries. If you can't find your own flag, Wait a little, because Alex is actually producing more mugs all the time with uh, with with countries' flags. But you know, if you're still waiting and it's still not there, uh, drop us a line and we'll look into it. I mean, somebody I know did it uh, who's an Armenian, and we were very delighted to prepare a mug for Armenia. So we are ready to do that. There it is, in fact. So so we are ready to do it for any. You know, any country and any nation, because we really do believe in, uh, 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 you know, all nations living together, but not in a globalized world, sovereign nations and sovereign mugs in a in a in a sovereign Duran yeah. channel. Um, and of course, we also do. We're also doing amazing shirts. Alex is adding to shirts. He's now working on getting a whole new range of our amazing beautiful embroidered uh, wonderful shirts including embroidered shirts and we've also got hats we've got trunkers hats and baseball caps and embroidered hats which you will find this is a new range there and we're also adding continuously to our line of ebooks so if you come to our shop buy these great things you will support our small channel make it possible for us to provide you with the kind of analysis that we do and you will be the owner of these wonderful things so alex will just quickly remind you how to do that just go to the duranshop.com. You'll find the link in the description box down below. Alexander Merkers, thank you very much. Till next time, everybody, take care.